welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Gruel Dinosaurs. So this is another donation deck. This is Joy's baby here. This is uh, his deck where we've played this quite a bit on the stream and had a lot of success with it, especially early on, uh, just attacking people and, you know, just basically playing a bunch of big creatures really fast, doing a lot of attacking. So now we're playing this with War of the Spark. This is our first time playing it in this new format. We're only making one small change, and that small change is adding in the two new Domries. We've played, like, Old Domri in this slot. We've played Collision Colossus main deck in this slot. These two cards have just kind of been in flux. But now we have Domri and Ark of Bolas, which looks to kind of fit this slot perfectly. So Domri does a lot for this deck. We do have... Um, some more expensive dinos that we want to ramp into, Ripjaw, Reggie, Car Carnage Tyrant, Domri helps with that. Plus, Domri's minus ability is perfect for this deck. We have big creatures, so we usually get to kill things whenever we fight. Especially if we have like Ripjaw Raptor, where we can uh, fight with Ripjaw Raptor, have the Raptor uh, get dealt damage, so we get to draw a card. And even the plus one power to the creatures, even when you add power to creatures like Drover and Otepic Huntmaster, that can just add up to whenever you're trying to cast Galta. You know, like if you're adding power to your creatures, all your creatures help you cast your Galta um, easier as well. So I think it fits this deck quite well. Um, we have a lot of Cinder Vines in our sideboard. <clears throat> And so we're, we're kind of hoping to play against, like, control decks with all these Carnage Tyrants and even, like, the Reclamation decks. We can just get a fast clock out there with Cinder Vines. Um, you know, we got a lot of stuff for Flyers, for, like, Drakes and Mono Blue. Uh, we, mono White can be kind of tough. We got, we got a couple Fire Cannons. That one can be kind of tough. And then, in particular, I've, I've struggled with uh, Soul Tie with this. Joy says that he doesn't struggle as much with Soul Tie with this deck. Um, that's been my hardest matchup with the deck. Uh, but we haven't seen as much Sultai these days at the beginning of the format, so that's good. Um, I think that we'll be good against Grixis if we get paired against Grixis, I think. Um, but let's go and get to the games and see how it, see how we do. Some Gruel Dinosaurs. Yeah, actually, Kiora is, Kiora is really interesting. <clears throat> I didn't think about Kiora, but yeah, Kiora could maybe go in, like, the Savage Stomp <clears throat> spot. Because, yeah, you can draw a lot of court cards with Kiora, and Kiora adds, also adds mana. Yeah, Kiora could do a lot of work for us. So Kiora like untaps a land just like Domri does, or like you know basically adds a mana like Domri does. But then also, I think I want the Ripjaw. <clears throat> uh, but then also, yeah, every single one of our thirteen more expensive dinos, even the Territorial Allosaurus too. So our our fourteen extra dinos draw cards too. Just lost to Bola Citadel. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you. Can only Dang, well, your opponent you probably had more gotcha. luck with their Citadel than what we had earlier. <laughs> Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. <laughs> Attack. Well, we're not playing against the best deck here. It's our first match. <laughs> Alright, well, we got another Reggie, so all good. <laughs> Why is Domri so British? Hmm. 
yeah, we got Di Dinos plus new Domri. Yeah. Come and destroy! Grixis is pretty good. We, uh, we've played two different versions of Grixis. The Grixis discard version did not play as well, uh, didn't do as well, didn't look as good either. Um, <clears throat> we did that two days ago. Yesterday, I tried a, a different version then and kind of built it more around uh, Thief of Sanity and cheaper spells instead, and that one performed better for us. So I was gonna play. I was gonna play Ripjaw Raptor. Have have the Ripjaw Raptor fight and then attack with everything. <clears throat> so I'm gonna play Fiery Cannonades over Shocks, and call it a day. I don't really want these Death Gorge Scavengers as much. I kind of want Spellbreaker more. I'm a little worried about that two toughness, especially playing Cannonade. I don't... Hmm. It's not a dinosaur, though. Oh, we got a lot of other dinosaurs. Alright, I'm going to switch those two out. This is not, you know, a good hand on its own, but I'm just keeping the, the four lands, three spells against the six that they had, and it turns out they're at five. You know, at the time when I was keeping, we knew that they were going to be at six. Let's try to draw any creature in here. This deck doesn't have that many lands because we're playing um, Commune with Dinosaurs. So Commune with Dinosaurs allow us to hit more, hit more land drops. So we don't actually have very many lands in this deck. Uh, 23 is the number. <laughs> Nothing like a bit oh, of have at it, boys. <laughs> you're playing Gruel Midrange. The, you're playing our version of Gruel Midrange. <laughs> right on my noggin! Against Gruel Midrange. All right, so I just wasted this Domri. The only authority that I recognize. I didn't find anything to to play with it. All right, so right of bells unlocked, so they get a six six in two turns. I'm not finished with you. Not yeah, Domri got to gain six life. Not so bad. Hey, that six life against Poison Tip Archer could matter. And we have a removal spell for it with the Stomp or the Strike. Hmm. Well then, let's strike that thing. Now, that demon... <clears throat> Doesn't that demon die? Oh, I thought that demon died if you couldn't sacrifice creatures. What does it do? Oh, it deals six damage to you at your upkeep if you can't sacrifice creatures? It did something like that. Um... Haste. Galta!
Whoops. <laughs> One and oh. We're not starting off with a loss this time. We are smashing. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't just attack with everything. I definitely should have just attacked with everything, but... Oh, well. Yeah, Grixis is, is a popular deck right now. People are trying out. Um, which, I think that could be a good reason to be playing Gruul right now. I do think Gruul is good against Grixis. How did... Mercer, how did you do with the Gruul deck against Grixis? You said you played your last two matches against it. Man, this hand has so much potential. Just hit a couple land drops. Huntmaster with turn three, haste. Ripjaw, turn four, haste. Reggie on the play. Turn five, get this Galta in here. Do need green mana. Y'all think Gruul versus Grixis is a coin flip? Someone else says, hit diamond one with your Gruul list, no problem stopping Grixis so far. Awesome. I think, perfect, I think I'm kind of off the Vivian's arc bow in the, in the Gruul list and I just want a second regular, regular Vivian there, where like against control, against like removal heavy decks, take out Domri, bring in Viv, like, uh, Vivian for hasty stuff, or for flashy stuff, there we go, sorry, we're doing hasty stuff now, but for flashy stuff. Jeskai Midrange was okay, it was... You know, a little above average, but nothing spectacular. So is it Galta or Carnage Tyrant? I'm definitely keeping Land Reggie. I guess it's Carnage Tyrant. It's certainly too early to tell what the exact metagame is going to be like. We're all kind of just trying stuff out. Ah, Feature! Thank you so much for that resub there. Still the cutest cat on Twitch. Thanks for the Harry's Code. You're, you are welcome. Did you just use that feature? Just killed Ripjaw Raptor? You didn't want to, like, you know, wait? Maybe just, like, a little bit? See, there's something be better to cast down. I mean, I guess they were just dead, though. So, that's true. Cast down does not work on Galta. Good point. And even killing Registor Alpha whenever they see that to try to take away haste won't work because the Hunt Master gives it haste also. So we have we had two ways to give it haste. So yeah, that, they just didn't have any. Even if it did work on Galta, they would still be taking lethal anyway with the other one. They just didn't have anything to do. So I think I like Collision Colossus against Flyers like Thief. Uh, you know, kills kills Flyers like Thief or just like pumps up our things and kills them. I uh, don't need Domri as much here. I guess they could be playing counter spells. Think about going like this. Cinder Vines is good against like they're just like a, if they have a bunch of spells, but like sometimes they just have like a couple of creatures. <clears throat> so 
is like I have the four collisions. Yeah, I guess I'll have the four collisions and the two Domries to, to try to fight Thief. I think that's enough. <clears throat> I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, that's like our best curve, you know. Uh, Huntmaster into turn three attacking with Registrar Alpha and then turn four attacking with <laughs> uh, Registrar Alpha plus, you know, everything else. Um, Mulligan. Yeah, we could do a, a chat over... I've, I've certainly, d you know, debated about doing a chat overlay for YouTube. Definitely. Um, no, I have... I'm worried about... Uh, Trolls. I have just a decent amount of trolls in here at times, and we're about people just you know being able to put up whatever messages. Is one thing. Um, another thing from just talking with the viewers and everything. A lot of people have just said they don't they don't mind no no chat on the screen that they like being able to see everything on the battlefield. Um, that's been like the the most consistent answer while I've been asking about it. Yeah, like a couple people have said they think it looks like it the way it is here. I know, I know some people on on YouTube have certainly asked about the chat, having the chat on there too. It's kind of tough. I, you know, in a perfect world, it would be nice to have it up there. The reason why I would want to play Domri instead of ter Territorial Allosaurus is to make sure that nothing else is countered. Like, I'd rather Domri get countered than Territorial Allosaurus. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Okay, yeah, a lot of a lot of people are here saying no chat on screen. They they don't like it covering up the the thing. Chat on screen would be great for the set reviews. That's a good point. I bet it would be good for the set reviews. I was actually kind of even looking at it, like, in the set review, but, um, yeah, I could try to figure out a way to do that. That could work. Anyway, I'm sorry. I missed our resub. Millennium God says amazing content. Thank you so much, Millennium God. That, of course, gets some hype boats in the channel. If you didn't put your hype boats in the channel for our resub there, hope you do. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Let's tick up. Oh, have at it, boys. Smash. It's possible Territorial Allosaurus can fight something. So that's our first sub goal of the day. So I'm going to mark that down for our sub battle streams for the, the next one. And plus, we're going to crack the pack open after this game also. We're going to crack a pack for getting that sub goal. I am Death's master. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> hey, Crazy Pyro! With a donation. Put your hype boats in the channel. Thank you so much, Crazy Pyro. Well, that was a pretty convincing win over Grixis. I did mention at the beginning that I thought we'd be pretty good against Grixis. Our opponent didn't seem to have the best hands. Alright, let's crack this pack. We're getting to 10 subs. Let's get a War of the Spark pack. Let's see what we get. Hopefully a Mythic. 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 
Narset's Reversal. All right. Not a bad card. I will certainly use that card at some point in some game at some point, and it will be good. All right, Mitchin just got back from the pre-release. Got a Foil Gideon Black Blade. Dude, that is awesome. Is it one of the time-stamped ones, or did you get a normal one? And I'm not sure exactly. Usually they are, they're like the same. Um... <laughs> hey, can I donate for the first deck mentioned in chat? All right. First deck mentioned in chat. We'll, we will play that for Crazy Pyro. Whatever that is. Davriel Discard. Ooh, we already had a Davriel Discard one. Um, yeah, we can try this. Yeah, so, yeah, we actually already have that. So next one was Feather. So somebody typed Feather really quick. All right, so I guess we're going to play a Feather deck. All right. Yeah, because we already actually have a, a Davriel discard donation deck to play. So Feather. All right, we got a Feather deck. <laughs> crazy Pyro is crazy, just... Who knows what, who knows what, <laughs> who knows what we're donating for? <laughs> Thank you, Crazy Pyro. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just oh, have at it, boys. Ooh, can we get this Galta up in here? Or should I take the land? I kind of want to do this Galta. We still have four mana right now. Y'all think land? Uh, Y'all are boring. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the land. Yeah, we got a feather deck donation. We'll probably build that one together on stream. <laughs> Soul Diviner. I had faith that we would find another land. So I either play Registor Alpha this turn, or I go Huntmaster plus Ripjaw. Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Wait, we can do both, can't we? Yeah, no, no, yeah, so it's Huntmaster plus Ripjaw. We cannot do Huntmaster plus Reggie. Yeah, this card kills my Domri. I don't like it. Just kill my Domri. That's not cool. I agree. So this would cost a decent amount to kick. We'll we'll wait and kick next turn. So let's go Reggie. If they have like a disdainful stroke here, that'd be busted. I'm planning on fighting the Soul Diviner and getting that thing out of here. <laughs> yeah, it kills Domri in the picture. The picture kills Domri, not... It doesn't actually kill Domri in, on the battlefield. I'm expecting them to remove a counter draw card. We are the many. Oh, 
What? Okay, I was not expecting that. Hmm. Oh, have at it, boys. We got another donation deck. First deck, chat says. Rakdos Zombies was the first one. Alright, Rakdos Zombies. Alright, we got a lot of donation decks to do. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do like a donation deck day stream. I'm gonna have to like this isn't a fight. You let's skip to the good part. Stream a little earlier so we can get a bunch of decks in. I kind of want to just kill, just attack them. Put them to seven and like help have this Dreadhorde invasion help out. But we've already seen them with like revitalize. That could be a bad plan. Let's get Teferi out of here. Ugh. I was raised by wolves. Though they might have also just been big dogs. Yeah, it's fair could just run away with it, so I was going for a kill into fairy. I advise that you are you certain of your decision. Quasi duplicate deck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We have, I mean, I have the Hawkeye's Cats deck um, up on the Stream Decker page, which we'll be playing that one as a donation deck. Um, I have. Keep oh. up the pace. Oh wait, this one actually. Okay, not this. And then we're doing this right now. So we have eight decks in the donation queue. It's the most decks we've ever had in the queue. Draw card. Bring in your comeuppance. Maybe I do hit them. So now we're not actually killing Teferi. I'm just going that way. We are killing Teferi. We need to move quick. I think so right now, Mirror Sir. I think Esper still has more tools than Grixis overall. Um, Evil you know, cannot like, withstand a right I feel like Esper will be better whenever there's a, a settle down meta game. Grixis is a little more proactive. So it may, may look a little better to start with. You're not you better blood. watch your back from here on out. Ugh. Kaya gaining life now. Let the blighters feel the ground tremble. Let's get Kai out of here. Keep Kai from gaining life. Or draw another card. At least Rift Draw's great. Ugh. We're not helping out Ripjaw at all. 
I should have taken that Galta instead of that land. Y'all were like, no, take the land. And I was like, I kind of want to take a Galta. Could have had this Galta in here. No time for a break. If you wish to hone your prowess. Of course, that was like what our that was our fourth land. So we've drawn five lands since then. Yuck. You're not welcome to watch your back for now, on out, but not forever. <laughs> Sassy Todd. <laughs> oh, say hello to my little friend. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. All right, let's try this again. So, all these Cinder Vines, and Grill Spellbreakers, and not Lightning Strikes or Shocks, and no Savage Stomp. All right, that looks pretty good. That should help out. And Cinder Vines only deals damage upstairs. It doesn't. You can't redirect Cinder Vines to Planeswalkers, even if there are five of them on the battlefield. Yeah, lesson is, just take the take the spell, not the extra land. We already had enough lands. You need to take the spell. I probably could have played around. I mean, I guess I didn't have a ton out for that uh, Cleansing Nova, but maybe I could have played around the Cleansing Nova better. Wasn't really expecting it. But then, you know, it turned out they were just a full on Esper control deck, which it didn't really look like at first. I am going playing Huntmaster to play Scavenger the next turn. We're not we're not leading with Cinder Vines. That was Jungle by Tash Sultana, if it doesn't come up. Hmm. Well. Every Cinder Vine's down at the bottom of the library. Hopefully we don't need those cinder vines. I will fight the choices we make, reveal who we are. Attack! I don't think I want to attack Karn. If I attack Karn, they just gain two life with the Othakaya. I think we're just, like, with Cinder Vines, um, I think we're just going attacking them. How convenient. An excellent choice. Well, they did not have a sweeper. So, 
That's not good. Ah, that's the reason. Okay, yeah, yeah. I should good good call, good call. I should exile the that creature in my graveyard f because of Kaya. Good call, good call. Yeah, Dan Moore, if you need <clears throat> saying you need some assistance with the deck. Um, one thing you can do, uh, check out the Discord channel. We have a Discord uh, for the community for uh, Talk of Magic and everything. There's a place there for new decks and brews, and you can you know, post in there and you know ask some questions, and hopefully some people answer. Ooh. I mean, I don't have very much mana for Reggie, but Carnage Tyrant just wins. I'm taking Carnage Tyrant. So that's a good place, and if you are... Or if you like, if you're somebody that likes to help, uh, also feel free to join the the Discord community to help other people as well. Uh, no, Dark Spawn. I've been streaming the whole time. I've don't know anything about it, and. No thoughts. Yeah, that's a, so many good cards. We're just going to flood out here in a little bit. Look at all those good cards down and going, going down to the bottom. Thank me later. Oh, I am I've not done the hero thing before. at all. Ever. Not even not now, not later. Kinda wanna take that rip jaw. Take the land. Yeah, Martyr Aristocrats are real good. protect you. It's not looking so great for us. We haven't really seen very many lands, and I feel like we're going to just start drawing a whole lot of lands in a row. There's a decent amount of lands in there, but look at all those good spells. Look at that. It's, you know, sit like that's from Cindervines there. That's three, six, nine. That's like nine, nine good spells in a row down there I can at the bottom. Escape. Hurry! Even like the bottom 16 are no, I am not 13 spells and three lands in the bottom 16. Yep. Not surprised we drew a land there. It does trigger twice. This is hardly my worst defeat.
They playing settle. We saw cleansing Nova before. I don't really want to put more dinosaurs out to get Cleansing Novid. So we have seen that. Does Carnage Tyrants reckon? I mean, Carnage Tyrant requires either a settle or... I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. Does require a settle or a Cleansing Nova, so... Trust me, I have a plan. So they could have instant speed settle. Or sorry, instant speed wrath. They could have instant speed cleansing Nova. I don't think they have cleansing Nova though. I'm going for it. I'm calling their bluff. I'm calling it. Let's go. Okay, well, they're not dead. They had a removal spell. So they're not dead. Let's see what they see what they draw. Drew land. Good game. All right, we're three now. Grilled dinosaur is smashing. I like these Gruel decks against. I like Gruel aggro decks against. Um, against the the blue black decks. And there is a decent amount of blue black decks here. You don't play two in a row. It's a lot of those in the metagame these days. Yeah, Dinos has been the best deck of the night. I guess we got to win one more. If we lose the next two matches, then you know it ties with the team or super friends. A standout, like a singular standout card? I don't know. I think that that's... I think that's something that's really good about War of the Spark is that they're... I haven't seen like any like singular standout card yet that there's... Um, it does seem pretty even across the board. Like there's a lot of... Um, you know, it's it's... Ugh. Like, yeah, like there's just a lot of good cards. And as you can tell, there are people saying a lot of different things here in chat. Cameo, Celebrant. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Dreadhorde Invasion. How many Dreadhordes? I feel like Ripjaw Raptor is going to be good for us.
I could be wrong. But I, I feel like Riptar Raptor is a good card. In this matchup. So let them so we both draw a card. Yeah, that's okay. They lose a creature, we both draw. Oh right. Why'd I forget about the Judith trigger? I forgot about the Judith trigger. Hmm. That's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. Gonna be striking the uh, Midnight Reaper. I could just block Reaper, and then I could just strike Judith. But then, so then they draw two cards. But then I get Judith and Reaper off the battlefield. Or I block here and I strike Reaper and they only they only draw one card. But they still have Judith. good chance they have more another Judith in hand. I'll, I'm going to leave them with the Judith. At least we got those five cards down to the bottom. Yeah, that Ripjaw Raptor gave us a lot of value. Bantu. It's my first time seeing a Bantu played in the three days. Wow, it's a lot of lands. Going to two. All right. Going down to two. No fear. No fear over there. Just like two's a good good life total. I'm going to sack all my lands but two. I'm going to go down to two life. It's all about two. So cannonade coil. Those are definitely coming in. What am I taking out? Am I just taking out like drovers? Could get hard to cast stuff. Domri can fight, but not great early. Joy, what do you think we should take take out here? I 
I mean, Scavenger doesn't fight their stuff very well, but it is good at gaining life. But it, as we saw there, like, it, it dies really, really easily. Maybe I'm supposed to take out Scavenger. It's really hard. Like, Scavenger just trades down, you know, like it trades with our one drops. And Scavenger dies to Cannonade. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm off Scavenger. Yeah, let's go Cannonade instead. Um, and then I'm going to take out one Domri. Okay. Yeah, Colossus for Trample can certainly, you know, that could be a thing that could matter, but... Kind of hard having too many spells like that and not, you know, not having more enough creatures. Like we already have, like we, I have a lot of spells in now, so I don't think we can really have more spells. Well, none of those are red mana. That's a problem. Ripjaw was fantastic last game. Let's keep it. Still no red mana? Come on. Come on, deck. Red mana. We need to light it up for the red mana. I thought with the commune we'd be able to find a, a red source. Finally. A little late there. can only punish you uh, if they catch you. <laughs> uh, uh, it ain't the first time I've been Basically using Domri as like a, a life gain spell. Skirmish you can walk away from. Alright, trades right. with the skewer. I guess I should have used lightning strike instead of shock. So that I, I could have played Ripjaw and held up shock here. Wow. Alright, the opponent kind of has everything. Wow. They had everything there. Get the stomp back. All right, spellbreaker in. Hmm. I guess one tyrant out. And it drove her out. <clears throat> I should get Bant Legends up on YouTube. It's ready to go. All right, now we actually have both our colors of mana. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Horatio. Ripjaw would be a great one to grab.
Hopefully not another Playcrafter. Okay, not a Playcrafter. So I basically want to kill this so they deal one damage to me. Or like, so they can't, yeah, so they have to do one damage to themselves. Ha! That's awesome. <laughs> Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker clutch. Right, that thing's a pirate. Wait, why don't you just skewer my spellbreaker? My spellbreaker had two damage on it. A pony could have just skewered the spellbreaker. You would have been fine. They could have been fine. <laughs> okay, they could have been fine. Oh well, they didn't do it. They targeted themselves. I guess they thought that Spellbreaker just always had hexproof. So y'all know what that means. We are 4 and 0. Oh. Time to get this boss <laughs> playlist going. Get your final boss emotes in the chat. <laughs> Streamer paying for wins exposed. I was not paying for that win, but I, it seemed like I got a free one there. When, when you're playing Rakdos Aggro and you have to Judith hit your own face, it's time just to tap out. Yeah, maybe I should have like waited. Did we have the cannonade at that time? I guess that we did. I was shocking that thing so that I could play the 1-1, one -one, but maybe I just don't play the 1-1 one -one and just sit back and wait and wait till it's my turn. They play some more things. And I like cannonade their board and they get like a bunch of Judith triggers and they have to just send them all upstairs, like all at themselves. Man, Spellbreaker is great against Judith. No, Steamkin. Get out of here. Scavenger is going to be. It's going to die anyway. So, might as well just take it here. We get to double spell. Ooh. Very nice. Let's just pop at it, boys. J Bulls, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. 
Oh, they did not kill. They did not kill my hunt master. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not going to be good for them. That's eight power of hexproof haste coming in. That is hard to race. Trample. Here's our deck. Smash it. <clears throat> okay. We out aggroed Mono Red. Got to get these spell breakers in there. I don't. I'm gonna take out Drover because of Chain Whirler. Keep Huntmaster. I want to go here. Now, Territorial is a 4 mana 5 5. That's really good against Red. It's just a really big body. I guess we don't need. We don't need Galta, though. We can take out Galta. <clears throat> okay, okay. We gotta win. We are facing the final boss. Can y'all hear Hawkeye purring? Yeah, it's definitely a good starting hand. Take this. I really like this cannonade. Cannonade's not good against Firebrand, though. Firebrand is a pirate. And this is a pirate clasm. A non pirate clasm, I guess, would be a. Would be more accurate. Hawkeye's male. He's a male kitty. Go, Ripjaw, go. So I want to play... I wanted to wait for Scavenger. Oh, I, I should just Scavenger eat the Risk Factor. Duh. Well... <laughs> Uh. What I was going to be saying was that I wanted to wait for a creature to be in the graveyard, which is why I didn't play it on like turn three. I wanted to wait till he killed the firebrand or had like some other creature in the graveyard. So we could gain life from it. This is Chrono Trigger theme.
All right, so we're going. I think we got this one locked up. Stop. Play you. So scavenger, ETB, gain two life. Give it haste so we can attack and give it two life again. Coil this thing. I think we got this one. Five? Oh, Joy, if you still have the touch. There you go. 5-0, it is official. Grill dinosaurs. Still good. Let's claim this prize. Alright, 2100 gold. We'll take it. And in fact, you know what? For getting a 5-0, let's, let's buy a new pack. For the 5 0. That sounds like a good thing to do. Alright, pack. What you got for us? A mythic. Spark Devil. Alright, cool card. Cool card. Alright, so Gruel Dinosaurs, even though we didn't really have anything new, um, you know, just. Kind of just play, played our big creatures and attacked. The dinosaurs are um, are pretty good against the blue black decks, as we saw. We beat those a couple of times. Ah, sorry. Um, we did a good job against the red aggro decks. Our creatures were big. Ripjaw Raptor was just awesome against Aristocrats, Mono Red. And just our big creatures. Carnage Tyrant is, of course, great. And yeah, New Domri, New Domri did look great. I agree. New Domri looked great. Um, really, really helped us out. Uh, we got to do a good amount of fighting and drawing cards. Like fighting with Ripjaw Raptor was awesome. Um, making our creatures uncounterable is good. That extra point of power, certainly nice. Uh, helping us cast the Carnage Tyrant, very nice. Yeah, Planeswalker is good. Um,. <clears throat> yeah, this this one was good. All right, so um, that's Cruel Dinosaurs. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the